Okay, so now I'm logged into LifeRay as Chris at Minium. Chris is a portal admin, so he has access to the full commerce uh, feature set. Now, the first thing we want to take a look at is um, in the control panel, we'll take a look at commerce orders. This is the order widget that's available in the control panel. Um, and we'll go into this in a lot more detail, but it has been updated. So if you're used to LifeRay Commerce um, 2.0.7 and below, uh, you'll notice that this is a little bit different. Um, orders are going to show up here as soon as an order has been created. Um, we're also going to be taking a look at uh, Mike at S Auto, and we'll be doing some things as Mike. Uh, Mike also has access to a view of orders. Um, he can look at place orders or pending orders. Now, at this point, there aren't any orders in the system yet, um, but I just want to kind of show you where we're starting from. So from the end user perspective, from Mike's perspective, uh, as soon as he starts an order, he can do that from um, creating a new order here, or he can also do it just by going and, and adding an item to the cart. So as soon as he starts an order, the order is now in the open status, and it will show up in his pending order page. And for Chris, it's going to show up in the all tab, as well as specifically under the open tab up here at the top. Right. So we'll be going through the full order lifecycle. But before we dig into that, I want to just take a look at some of the order configurations as well. Um, now, orders are, order management is, is configured at the channel level. So I'm going to go into channels, and I'll take a look at the Minium portal channel. Now, if you haven't looked at LifeRate Commerce 2.1 or above, this is another big change um, in previous versions of LifeRate. All of these settings were at the commerce site level. They've all been moved to the channel level. So now from the channel level, I can turn on my buyer approval and my seller approval. And so those are part of order management. I can also configure my notification templates. Um, we have a couple of them already configured. So we have the order complete. We have a new order placed email notification template, and we have an order shipped. Now, to create a new notification template, very straightforward. We just need to give a, a, a name. We select the event type that's going to trigger this. So whenever the order goes into the order processing, we'll turn it on. We'll say that it's enabled. We'll use one of these um, terms down here, the order creator, as our two email address. And from, we're just going to use a, a generic orders mailbox. And, and we'll use another template here. Order ID is being processed. So that's our subject line. Again, we can put as much information as we want. We have access to these tokens that we can enter into the email as well. I'm going to go ahead and just save that for now. So we now have a new order processing type. Now, once an order moves into that processing stage, you will see it gets added into the um, notification queue or, or actually any of these events. So uh, once we finish that, that order, um, new order placed, as soon as Mike finishes the checkout process, it's going to send the new order placed. Uh, once we start processing, it'll send the order processing. Once it's shipped, we will get an email. And then once the order is complete, we will get an email as well. Um, all of those will go into the queue. And then uh, as of right now, the default configuration, uh, and this is under system settings, commerce, orders, commerce notification queue, the default um, entry check is 15 minutes. So every 15 minutes, it's going to check. And if there are any emails to send, it will send those. Okay. All right, so let's go back to orders. Let's take a look at what, from the admin side, we can see on an order. This order is currently still open, so there really isn't any action I can take other than to check out. I could check out on behalf of the customer, um, but I'm not going to do that right now. But you can see um, as the order moves through the checkout process and as the billing address and the shipping address gets applied, more information is, is going to show up in this screen as well. And let's take a look at what Mike sees. Now, Mike, if he wants to actually go into, he can view that order, he can give it a billing and shipping address, he can save that order. He can also go to checkout. And he can walk through that checkout process, we'll do the expedited delivery, we'll do PayPal. Okay. Again, as Chris, 
during this whole process, the order is continuing to be in the open status. Now the workflow status is approved just because we don't have workflow turned on. If we turned workflow on at this point, it would still be, um, it, it may still be a draft until somebody goes in and approves it, but because we're not using workflow, it's, it's already approved. Okay, so as, as Mike, I'm gonna continue now. At this point, I'm getting redirected to PayPal and the order actually has moved to the in progress status. So as Mike, I'm gonna go ahead and log in to PayPal and I'm gonna go ahead and pay for, pay for the order. And then as soon as this processing is completed, the order will move to the pending status. So it's no longer open, now it's pending. Now from Mike's perspective, he's done, the order's been processed. It's no longer in his pending orders, it's now in placed orders. Really all he can do is reorder uh, or he can um, check on the shipment if he wants to. Um, now there's nothing there yet because we haven't created a shipment, but we'll, we'll come back and we'll take a look at what the shipment looks like. Looking for more information on this topic or others? Check out our links in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.